Okay. All right. Uh, so let's um, let's create here uh, a um, um, in the public directory. Let's let's um, in the lecture folder. I'm going to create a, a, a directory. And I'm going to put. I'm going to call it um, uploads. Upload. Okay. And in here, I'm going to create a uh, an index file. This is the equivalent of your widget editor, right? Your widget editor. Uh, so I'm going to call it here uh, index.html. So inside of your template, inside of your template, which would be your widget edit or your yeah your widget uh, image edit, okay. In there, uh, you can you can replace your your uh, your file uh, input field. You can replace it with the, this entire form. This entire form. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it right here. There it is. And uh, what this form is going to do is that it's going to generate a post to this URL. Okay, uh, it's uh, it's going to notice that it's using the file type input field, which is going to let you navigate to a file. Yes, to your local file system. Uh, and then and then has a button here that if you if you click on that submit button, it's going to it's going to grab that file, right? It's going to attach it to the post that's going to send it over uh, to the uh, web service, okay? And there has to be a web service on the other end waiting for that incoming post, okay? Everybody okay? Uh, and uh, it's going to attach it, and it's going to call the, the, uh, the part in, in the body, right? And the body is going to send quite a few pieces of information. One of them is going to be the attached file that's going to be sent over through the post, right? And that part is going to be named as my file, okay? Or, the, or, or you can call it whatever you want, my image, my, you know, my picture. Uh, so on the server, I'm going to be able to retrieve the file from the attachments using this name, okay? All right? Other things that I'm going to be sending over are some metadata information. One of them is going to be the ID of the widget. This is so that I can, I can um, uh, associate this image to that widget. So I know that that image, right, that you just uploaded, it's for that widget. Okay. Uh, so that next time I render the widget, right, and I'm iterating over all the widgets, right, when I get to that image widget, uh, I'll need to know, oh, you know, what's the URL for that for that for that widget? Okay. Uh, also, I'm I'm sending over the uh, width. Uh, of the um, the width uh, of the of the image, which is you know the 100 percent or 50 percent uh, field that uh, it's already in the editor. Okay, right now I'm going to hard code these, but notice that these are Angular. They're supposed to be inside of an Angular template, right? And the, and the controller is feeding these values. Yes, All right. Uh, I'm going to put here just uh, I don't know 50 percent, and 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 I'm just going to use a bogus uh, widget ID. Right, so this is going to be widget you know, one two three, okay, um, and uh, and since this is uh, since this is an experiment, since this is an experiment um, uh, in, in the lecture, I'm going to make it so that it uploads right here in the same upload. So uh, I'm going to have uh, on the server, I'm going to have somebody listening for this, right? So this is going to be maybe example slash upload. So on the server, this not somebody needs to be listening for this incoming post. Yes? Well, right now there isn't. Let me run this index. Well let me let me uh, uh, restart the server. Let me navigate to this. So I'm gonna call this maybe h1 uh, upload example. So let me navigate there. Uh, so it would be where? Where is this file? It's under public lecture. So it's lecture. Uh, lecture upload, so upload, and then the index file, right? Index HTML. So there it is, right? So there it is. My my choose file. Notice it's not using any Bootstrap uh, styling or anything. Obviously, yours will be, right? We'll be using form control and whatnot. Uh, so these are the the, the bare bones um, uh, uh, widgets that come with the out of the box. Uh, in your browser, right? So let me just add maybe a break here. So I'm just moving the button down here. And I should be able to uh, navigate to an image. So for instance, this image. So notice that it's, uh, that it's, uh, oops, 
uh, right, it puts the name of a file there, right, that's going to uh, attach. Uh, let's look at the, let's inspect the, uh, the network of the, the traffic that goes. Uh, if I submit, right, notice that it, it's an error because on the so server side, nobody's listening for this slash API, slash example, slash upload. Nobody's listening to that, right? There's nobody on the server side. Uh, but let's let's take a look at the what was what was sent right, what was sent to the server. So on the server side, uh, the the uh, the browser, the browser noticed that it sent over. Uh, it sent a multi-part uh, a request right to a, a post request to the to the server in, that includes uh, a, an attached image that has that name Angular uh, JPEG plus some form data that was part of it, such as the width 50%, the widget ID 1, 2, 3, right? So that was sent over to the server. The server needs to be able to retrieve these things, right? So let's write the server side for this, okay? Uh, so on the server side, uh, I'm going to create a little um, uh, uh, server side, maybe, let's see. So this is uh, the lecture on the client side. Let me create a small... A, a, a folder where I can put uh, some server-side code that I want to execute for my lectures, right? So I'm going to put, I'm going to create a little uh, app.js, right? And in there, uh, I'm going to create my my server-side code that wants to listen for these examples, right? These lecture sides, right? So uh, this will be a module. I can have any number of modules. Module that exports uh, equal function. It's going to receive as argument the express instance, right? That that we instantiate at boot time, right? When the server's booting. So I'm going to pass it, uh, and on the on, so on the server side, I already give you code that you can use, right? Here we say that on the server side, you can do the following, right? In that module that exports, you can copy this. You can copy write this verbatim, right? You can copy and paste it in here. Okay. Uh, and what this is saying is that it's going to load. It's going to load a, a library called Multer. Multer is a Node.js module uh, that is used for being able to uh, parse and, uh, and manipulate multi-part uh, requests, right? You know, uh, requests that come from the server that have multiple parts, including files uh, and, and other meta information that is coming from the from the uh, from from the client. Okay. Uh, by default, you're not going to have Multer installed locally on your machine. Okay, you're going to need to install it. So I, I have a comment here not to not to forget to install it. Okay, you need to type npm space mul install Multer dash dash save. That will install it locally and make an entry into your package JSON file. Okay, so don't forget to do that. Otherwise, it'll it'll complain when you run it. Um, and Multer allows you to to configure. Uh, allows you to, do, to configure, uh, you know, if I see any uploads, right, if I see a message coming, uh, where should I put it? Where should I put those, those files if you're uploading these files? Uh, so, so here you can configure. Uh, so I'm going to say that I want to configure and put it, let's see, right here, this directory. I'm going I'm, I'm to load it right there. Where is it? It's under public lecture upload. Yes? That's where I want to put my image. You can put it wherever you want, all right? I think the assignment tells you to put it under an uploads directory under the public directory, right? I think a better place to put it might be under the uh, uploads directory under the assignment directory, right? Because you might have uh, one directory maybe for your project and one directory maybe for your assignment, yes? So that they're not, uh, you know, um, writing to the same directory. Okay? But it's up to you, okay, where you actually want to put it. So, so to configure it, uh, this directory is, this path here uh, is relative to the app.js uh, file, right? Where is the app.js file? It's under right here. It's under the lecture directory. See that? Under the root. Yes? Right? So, so to refer to this directory, I'm going to have to do what? Go up one, then down to public, down to lecture, then down to upload. See that? So I'm going to say, okay, I want to go. Um, I'm going to go up one, then down to public, then down to lecture, down to upload. That's where I want to put all my 
files that are being uploaded and that Malter is configured. Malter is currently configured to uh, upload things there. Okay, uh, now we're going to we're going to configure the the uh, on the server side. We're going to configure a response to this incoming this incoming request, right? So I'm going to copy that incoming request, and on the server side, I'm going to say, okay, uh, I'm going to respond. I'm going to respond to that incoming post. Right? I'm listening for that incoming post, um, and uh, and and I know Malter has been configured. Uh, we 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 we, uh, we created a configuration for Malter for that upload, and uh, and so that incoming upload post, right? Uh, I'm going. Uh, uh, Malter is going to intercept. It's going to intercept that incoming request, right? In incoming post, and it's going to look for a particular a particular part of that incoming post that is is uh, tagged as my file. Notice that we tagged it. We tagged it. The input field we tagged it as my file, right? So I'm saying Malter intercept this incoming post request, right? Extract that that uh, upload that is named as my file. Uh, so what's it going to do? It's going to extract the file. It's going to parse all the bits, the the zeros and ones that are being streamed from the client, streamed onto the server. And it's going to copy all that and 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 uh, and and copy the file into this directory. Yes, everybody okay? All right. After the file has been copied from the remote machine onto the from the client machine to the remote machine, once that occurs, uh, we're going to notify the server saying that it's done. We have uploaded the file. The upload is done, right? And it calls this upload image right here, right, right there. Uh, and this is uh, this is a, this is a, like a callback function to let you know that everything's okay. We were able to upload, right? Uh, and and then from here you can read all the afterwards, right? Everything after it has happened, you can you can read things such as what was the original name of the file, right? What was the original size of the file that was copied over, right? Where is it right now? Where was it copied onto? Okay, what's the current file name? Because what happens is that the names uh, Malter is going to rename the file. Okay, it's going to rename it with a random name. Right, it's going to give it a random name because uh, since you're not the only one uploading, there might be thousands of people uploading, right? And uh, and my file name might be the same as your file name. Yes. And if we run, don't rename it, it might be that your file name overwrites my file name. Yes. So Malter just renames it into some random file name. Okay. Uh, so let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, uh, so, so uh, let's restart the server. Actually, we created this module, but we never up, we never loaded this module, right? We need to load it from where? From server, right? From server JS. So let's do that. Uh, server JS. Uh, server JS. We're gonna load that module. It's require. Uh, and it's under was it lecture? Yeah, le lecture uh, slash and then app.js. There it is. Uh, so it's going to instantiate that module and it's going to pass it as argument the server. Yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, actually, it's uh, the .js is, is um, uh, uh, optional. It's smart enough to know that it's a it's JavaScript. Yep. All right, everybody okay? All right, awesome. All right, so it's going to load that, uh, and let's see if this works. So let's restart the server, and it should upload right here. Okay, so let's um, um, let me close that, and. Um, I don't like. I want him to be in the same desktop. Okay. So there it is. So that's the directory, and we're going to uh, look at the network here. Let's go back. Let's refresh, and let's upload Angular. There it is. Okay. And if you say upload. Okay, looks like it was successful. It didn't complain. 
Oh, notice that it's spinning. It's spinning, so it looks like from the server we never responded anything. We never responded. But let's look at here, and notice that the file appeared. There it is. See that with a random name, right? We know it was a JPEG, I believe. Was it a JPEG? Yeah, so let's rename the file just so, just so that we could open it. Or maybe we can double click it. Yeah, it doesn't know what it is. It doesn't know what the MIME type is. So let's uh, rename it uh, to be .jpeg. Now it knows that it's, it's a JPEG, so this is the original image, right? It was an Angular image that I, I uploaded. Uh, the server, notice that the client is still spinning, right? Because it never received a response from the, from the server. So let's fix that real quick. Uh, so on the, on the um, app.js, let's, uh, let's send back, let's send back uh, response dot send back the the uh, the um, the the file this my file right as a JSON object back this is like the meta information that the server was able to parse out the original the file name where where it ended up being copied the size the MIME type and things like that uh, other meta information that we passed in there as as hidden input fields see the index here the fifty percent and the one hundred twenty three as uh, as the ID Notice that those are available from the body. See that? Those fields are also available from the body, so you can retrieve them uh, and then make entries into your database or make entries and, and uh, uh, modify your um, your uh, uh, your relationships. Right. So let's reload. Uh, so let's try to do that again. Let's try it again. So we can just go back. Let's refresh. Uh, let's browse for yet another image. Um, Angular screenshot blah, blah, jQuery logo. No, that's a jQuery mark. Let's try that. I don't remember what that is. Let's upload the image. And notice that it responds with the metadata. See that? And the metadata is that the um, the the, uh, the the original file name was jQuery mark light mark light dot dot gif, right? This information can be stored in the database, so that so that even though the files were renamed with some bogus names, the database remembers what the original name was, right? So it could be shown to the user, right? The user could, you know, they know that file name that they uploaded, right? Uh, so you can show the same file name to the user, even though the actual file is called something else. Make sense, right? You just have to be smart about mapping. Right, these these uh, these uh, uh, these bogus names. Right, you, in the database you would store the name of the file. You would never actually store the image in the file. Right, you would store the name so that you can always refer to that uh, to that image uh, later on in the database. Right, uh, what else we have here? The size. Right, 16k. Right, we have the the new file name. Right, again that can be stored in the database. Uh, and uh, where was it copied to? It was copied into the uploads directory. This is the physical location of the file, right? The physical location of the file, which could be used when you render the images. It could be used to render that image, right? Um, uh, that's about it. Okay. All right. Makes sense. So I think you have enough. I think you have enough here in the uh, in the in the assignment, right? To to work to get that upload working for the image image widget. Make sense? Any questions? All right, everybody good? Yes. The widget? No, you would do it. Uh, you would do it in the widget service. Yeah. Well, you would do it in the uh, the service on the server, right? On the widget service dot server dot js. That's where you would do it. Yes. Uh, does it say here? I forget. Yes, that's where you would do it. Yep. I was just demonstrating generic, right? A generic solution. Um, also, this assumes that this is the file, di the directory structure. Uh, you might have a slightly different directory structure. Yes, uh, this, but this is assuming that particular directory structure.